Here's Todd, will be the first server over to Elise Jones. Smith. Zero one one. Point. Long for Parento. And a point. And Pretty they're tough. cheering miss returns. So that's, <laughs> one, that's one, what one. it's going to be. That was fair and pick the ball. Straight ahead at Parento. Yeah, and the ladies just sit on the two-handed backhand Two, there. One, Vivian one. David's one of the best at that, and Elise Jones all over that cross-court attack. Yeah. Paris Todd Second going toe-to-toe -to -toe on the line with Callie Smith, hands battle. Callie Smith with the two-handed backhand speed up, but two, right one, into the two-handed backhand of Paris Todd. She's going to find the right side of Todd's body to win that exchange. Captain Parento on the fly. What a point. And a great roll dink set that up, and then good read to come earning it. One, two, one. Point. Here we go. Elise was aiming down Goodbye. the line on the backhand of Parento. Got caught. Two, two, one. Oh, what a response from Kelly Smith. Yeah, because Paris Todd got the heat back and then just great windshield wiper there by Callie. Two, two, two. Lise Jones wins the line battle. Two, two, one. Adjustment from Callie Smith and the new toy, the two handed backhand attack. Three, two, one. Yeah. Paris Todd answers Second right serve. back down the middle on her two handed backhand. Boy, what a serve from Elise Jones in the corner for that to go Three, that two, two. bad so fast for the Utah ladies. That's a tremendous return. Absolutely destroyed it. And then you're going to get wild celebrations from her as well. And this is what you didn't want if you're Parento and Todd. Four, Just two, a, two. a nice emotional start for the Utah duo. Just lay that into the kitchen when you've been defending overheads. 
be excited that you got back to 50 50 and there's the respect from Todd and Parenta. They don't try to hit crazy Two overheads because they know how well they defend on the other side. Parento gets robbed by the top of the tape. Two for two. Yeah. Parento dominant down the line, had to defend and stretch out. Three for two. Paris so Todd instead of jump. hitting a dink there, Paris Todd sees Callie Smith move first and brings pace to that. So even though Callie could reach it, she was not expecting that much on it. So it's smart shot from Todd right there. 4-4-2. Four, four, Should have taken in the middle there. Yeah, she just needs to not put her paddle in there. Parento's behind her and is on balance. So don't stick your paddle in there, folks, four, four, if you're one. off balance or reaching, especially on the backhand side. Second serve. Four, four, two. first one but you saw a very nice pancake to start that by Callie Smith and then a huge two in and backhand that somehow Catherine in the splits gets back my <laughs> gosh Wait, flexibility hurt. man I'd still be on the court <laughs> and then she gets attacked by Elise Jones. What a defensive play from Callie there, as that is a full swing right there by Paris Todd, but she read where the next one was going, and that was the key. And that's a tough speed up from Paris Todd because Callie Smith might have the best hands of any of the ladies and just sitting on the forehand there and that leads to her Seven, four, finishing off that rally. So the timeout does not stop the momentum. Ooh, let board an opportunity for Paris Todd to take the break. Yeah, bad luck there. You're hoping like we saw in an earlier match where that thing will land in the trough on the Selkirk net there and uh, Get a get a redo because it doesn't one. bounce a second time. Second serve. Nice solid volley there from Elise Jones on a good drive from Todd. Four, seven, two. Point. Parento called it back. Ball's in. Okay, so overruled. That was arcing like as the greatest return ever. Oh, 
Seven, four, one. Should they challenge Boy, that? They can. They can challenge an overrule. That might have been deep. <laughs> Volleyball does not work here, Elise, but I love the idea. Seven, four, two. Jones played volleyball at Utah Valley University. Side out. Boy, and just quick side out here. So that's Give great news for Parento and Todd. Four, seven, one. Especially after a return that might have been deep there. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Elise <laughs> might have hit a ball that's wide, but why not entertain the crowd there? What a dink, though, to set that up. That's great. That's Four, the seven, new two. trick from. Callie Smith, two-handed roll dink. It's a good ball from Elise Jones. <laughs> and she's looking at her bench, shaking her head over there. <laughs> they got to turn this into points now. Been at 7-4 for a little bit here. 7-4-1. That's an angle from Paris Todd. That's what you have to do to beat the defense of Smith and Jones. Yeah. She ran out of real estate or she'd have gotten it. And, <laughs> yeah. and I think she thought about diving up and over the marketing board. So I'm glad she did not because that would have been cement and uh, some patron over there sitting in a chair. So thankfully, just a great angle from Todd. Paris Todd loaded up. Kelly Smith knew it was coming right down the line. So you heard the Elise Jones scream watch because she knew she left a dink up, but Todd cannot hit that into the forehand of Kelly Smith. The hands yeah. are just too good. 8-4-2. Better there of going one side and then the other. It's really hard to defend both sides of your body. So nice adjustment quickly from Todd. Four, eight, one. That's an angle from Kelly Smith. Honestly, these after the match charging into each other. Usually go home bruised from the ball Four, hitting two. you. You're going to have full contact injuries here. <laughs> Point. That's a pretty drop from Parento, and she is trying to up the pace. She even cut in front of Todd on an earlier third. She is in a hurry to get to the kitchen. Five, eight, two. from Paris Todd on the that quick roll. That is an underused word, good. That is an outrageous cross-court dink. That's a clean, with the beat Elise clean on a dink, Six, that's eight, two. awesome from Paris Todd right there. <laughs> and a great rally back here from Catherine Parento and Paris Todd. Down 8-4 when they got that serve back. Three straight. Seven, eight, two. Yeah. Top of the table, Elise Jones in the mix of the battle. Yeah, and uh, there was a ball floating in the middle that Elise expected Callie to take, so they got away with that. So they keep the lead, but. Unlike some other situations, these two are going to be talking, connected from start to finish, and that's huge. Eight, seven, one. Yeah. Callie Smith capitalizing down the middle, a two-point lead and two points away from taking game one. Yeah, it's usually bad news when there's a paddle clank. But, uh,
Kyle Smith giving just some locations or suggestions for dinks and, and attacks. because she's so patient going back to get the lob and then Callie Smith couldn't get the footwork right to clobber that and then just had to bunt it forward. Nine, seven, two. Perenna was a shark in the water when she saw that. That was massive because that was a great lob by Jones. And the transitive powers of Tyson McGuffin have gone to <laughs> Callie Smith. Now with game point on their side. Let's go. 10 seven, two. Todd swung and missed and thought the game was over, Seven, and ten, there's one. Parento behind her making an <laughs> unbelievable save. Come on, put Santa. I did not see it. Did you see it? And they cannot challenge. Second so. serve. Looked like it was deep off the paddle. Yep. 7 10 2. Out of timeouts, no challenges. Point. And that taketh away. Gives one, right, takes one away. Paris Todd, the second server, down two. Eight, ten, two. This gold medal match, best three out of five games. Rips it into the net, so Smith and Jones will take back game point number two. Ten, eight, one. Serve. Callie might have played a ball going wide there, but uh, we'll never know. 10 8 2. Parento have to be cleaned up a little bit. They're certainly capable. And there's the ability to understand I need to hit the right hip of Elise Jones, not the left, and uh, just got to execute. And these braids are everywhere. <laughs> Tarashenko <laughs> is braid. part of Team Braid here. <laughs> awesome. We need to see that again there. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> this uh, sitting there in the crowd with Jesse Irvin. Wow. Awesome. Zero, one, one. So you see Paris trying to pull it over to the right hip of Elise Jones, because if you're sitting in the middle, it's hard to get that because you have to slide and then you're setting up Parento one, one, like one. that one did. So really nice adjustment from Todd already.
Smith. And if you lob Parento, she's going to throw it back into the kitchen. Paris Todd one, chose one, to throw it up in the air, and that put them way behind. And then the Callie Smith power. for Callie Smith. Point. Callie tried to buy a call with the yell, and that's the, that's the right place. Now the challenge is the sideline gets into play, because earlier she sped it up directly into the two-handed backhand of two, Paris one, Dodd, which is where you don't want to go. So right place, wrong execution. Adjustment. Callie Smith used to hit one-handed backhand cuts exclusively yeah. from over there. So that's what you got to do to stay one. at the top here. You got to keep adding to your game because everybody's getting so good. Deja vu Second on serve. the same lob of Elise Jones that time, deep enough where Kelly Smith couldn't execute. Yeah, it didn't retreat far enough here. I think there was a little uncertainty. And if you think that was One, a two, fault, two. she did step forward, but reestablished that left foot. So that swing was okay from a footwork standpoint. Side up. Such a smart attack there from Parento. So we see the lob of over Paris two, Todd one, one. in play here early. Point. miss for Jones. She's been so sturdy on that right side. Matching up against Catherine Parento. Three, one, one. Straight ahead. Point. Absolutely Parento. love that serve from Paris Todd there. So she cuts it, which puts a tail on it and goes away from the court. And then Elise Jones has even more ground to cover as they're switching. Really smart. If one, you see one, a team one. stacking, get that thing into the corner and make them run farther. Does it again there. Perfect drive from Parento then and there from Paris. Down the middle, riddle Second finish serve. from Callie Smith. And that goes back to the Callie Smith return. She knew she one, was in one, trouble, two. added arc to give her time. So these players are so smart about what's going on and fixing it immediately. And if Paris John answers right back, splitting. Jones and Smith. Timeout receiver, 512. Time in. Yeah, we haven't. I think they've Five, had the one, magic two. taken Pass. by the great play of Parento and Todd. Another awesome serve. Yeah. Point. Moving the dinks around, just it's a clinic right now from Todd and Parento. And, you know, we talk about how important the serve is in Six, singles, one, but the serve in doubles can cause trouble, and now they're going to not switch sides, and that works out. So showing a different look, smart adjustment right there. One, six, one. Smith going Second big serve. on the poach. Hair late on that. Love the read. One, six, two. So at least Jones has to slide even more and is able to get it done there. So uh, 
We'll see if Todd adjusts two, six, and go two. back more middle. You got to get it away from Callie Smith, though, too. So adjust to the adjustments. Paris Todd Side out. closing. But the inside out dink from Catherine Parento just turned Callie Smith into a pretzel there, and Todd got the finish. But my six, two, goodness, one. Catherine. Are we switching? Okay. Boy. Must have at least Jones slam right into the back of Callie Smith there. <laughs> what do you think? One time they had success staying with Callie. Well, they're on two now. I think that there was just a, you know, sometimes, wait, we've been switching. Seven, two, We're not. One. Oh, wait, I forgot. We have two, so they're not going to switch. So up by six. Yeah, Paris and Catherine have upped their level Eight, two, here. One. So uh, You're scoreboard shows it. Eight, two, one. Side, second serve. Let's see if they throw this right back. Whenever someone misses a third, you always want to give it Eight, to two, them because you know it's in their mind. Let's see if Callie does. Not close enough to the line, so Parento smartly took it. Down the middle finish set up beautifully by Catherine Parento to earn her way back into the point. Yeah, and Parento again is able to jump in and bail out when there's trouble and then set it up. So, I mean, she should wear a firefighter's Nine, two, outfit two. when she's, I mean, it's just unbelievable how she puts out so many fires. Miss Jones and Callie Smith get the serve back, down seven. They have mounted Two, nine, comebacks one. this entire tournament, so we'll see if it can happen here. One. They get one. Three, nine, one. Point. Yeah. They missed for time, two in a row. I can expect you to see a lot of thirds in her direction. You you know, Four, nine, there's one. a player just a little off for a second. You got to keep feeding them the ball. Oh, and they went to oh, Catherine yeah, Parento. And the, and the reason they did is because they're switching. So that's an easier way for you to get to the kitchen. So very smart there. You Jones, the Utah ladies are mounting Time a in. comeback. Can they Five, keep nine, it going? What a drop from Elise. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. that Second was a little yeah. mix up from Parento and Todd. Hello, announcer Jinx. <laughs> And you saw them choose not to switch here. So uh, Parento Five, and Todd nine, didn't like what was happening. And same thing happened on the other side. We'll see if Todd stays there with Parento returning. That's going to sail Side deep, out. but uh, the ferocious two-handed backhand of Paris Todd on display there. I think got Kelly. Nine, five, one. way out. Big side out for Parento and Todd. Two points away. Point. And again, switching and not on balance on the first volley. So that has produced a ton of points on both sides in Ten, this five, particular one. game. Game point. 
for Parento and Todd. Captain Parento oh, finds the sideline, takes game two, and we are even out one game apiece. This best of five is now a best of three. SWAT team from Elise Jones and a little stare down to go with it. So uh, that's a great start. Zero, zero, one. Oh. on both sides and it's ultimately Paris Todd with a whipping overhead. What it takes zero, zero, to win two. a point in these rallies is something else. So that's the danger of trying to attack to the right hip. Wide comes into play, so good leave from Elise Jones, and that's the decision in split second she's going to have to make. Do I play that ball One, or zero, don't two. I? Does the right thing there. Yes, ma'am, I'll recall. One, zero, two. two-point lead. Yeah, and with the switch after the poach from uh, Callie Smith, that's a couple times that has actually worked out for them with Elise on the left side. So just two, zero, two. something to think about. Runner-up to Dylan Frazier in the paddle spinning competition is Catherine Parento, but uh, that's a gold medal that'll never be beat. <laughs> Paris Todd and a quick reaction. Lob attempt from Jones. Wrong shoulder from Elise Jones. I love the lob volley, but it's got to go over her left non-paddle shoulder. Zero, two, and one. then they're going to be in good shape with that because you surprise them by taking it out of the air. Yeah. Paris Todd steps in, loves that backhand in the middle. Just rotates through the body and absolutely tattoos it. And that's a play these two can use more. They haven't done that a lot. Catherine's thirds are so precise that that's something Paris can look for. And if it's not there, she can just get out of there and let the ball go to Catherine. One, two, one. See if they pick that up. to the backhand of Smith. And then you catch Elise Jones fading to play the sideline, and you find that open court after a lot of good scrapping from the Utah ladies. Two, two, but one. Parento parts the seas. That's a beautiful two-hander. Second serve. Go, use it. So that's probably where they'd love a lot of returns to go to the Paris Todd forehand. Two, two, two. It's tougher to find. kitchen because of a high drive so that's the accuracy you need Michelle if there is maybe a 
less good spot with Parenta throwing thirds and that teardrop that are trouble. So we'll see if they can keep that going and let's go Utah continues in the crowd. Locks in the line. And what a smart execution there. If she swings through that, she's going to pull that into the crowd. Just a little bunt down the line there. Smart two, two, shot two. from Paris. Oh, Side bounce up. off the tape. Yeah, that's unlucky because Todd did not find the right spot with that. That should have been a winner for Elise Jones, but the top of the tape said no. Take two, one. Elise Jones forgot again. She went racing over there. She's telling Callie right now. I mean, she was almost flying <laughs> into her again. That's twice. No check, check, check. harm, no foul. Sign out. Sign out. Smith and Jones. She also mentioned two of the great moms on tour. Yeah. Elise Jones has three kids. Callie Smith has two. Both their husbands on the sideline. Yeah, Dallas Pickleball Club has two moms, a dad, and Big Papa Jimmy. And there is some rain coming down now, folks, as uh, two, two, one. that could be an issue. Oh, man, that's Second the wrong serve. spot from Catherine Parento there, but got away with it. Two, two, two. kitchen on the first time you get one on the ground take Referee half of it out. and really smart by these ladies and the weather is now going to be a factor again as the Smith, the second server, score is 3 2 2. We'll be picking this one up midway through the third game. Paris Todd Side lets out. it go just wide. Sign out for Parento and Todd. So again, if she can get that past the Callie Smith forehand and Elise is sliding just a little bit, that is a great location from Todd. So well done. Paris Todd, just a very narrow entrance down the middle. She finds it. After a tremendous backhand volley on the fly from Callie Smith there, I thought they'd neutralized the problem and Todd said, uh-uh. Three, three, one. They choose not to switch there and Callie Smith gets candy, but uh, Four, three, one. catches the top of the net. Kind of changed where she was going to attack. No, Boy. Here we go, let's go. Here we go. Now 
a two point Five, lead three, for Parento and Todd, who trailed by one. Let's see. Got the side out. And that time, Catherine jumping in front was not the right choice because Paris Todd was ready to rocket a two handed backhand into the open court. Five, three, two. The winner down the middle for Paris Todd on the forehand. Very Where's, the, Where's the center fielder? What, what happened? Again, when you're switching and then ending up in different spots, there's an expectation of who's taking different balls. And this, this is two games in a row when they've been on odd. They haven't been able to figure it out. And it is the reason they lost game two and they are down in game three. And if they don't figure that out, they are not going to win this match. Parento and Todd on a roll here at the Vulcan Tournament of Champions. Two. Carvana PPA Tour, 17th stop. A little rain delay. Seem to favor the four seat. Side out. Oh, call was out. Referee timeout. Oh, and an Kept immediate, the odd call. The an odd call immediate three, challenge seven, from Catherine. Worth to tell us first. After video review, the call stands. Okay, there you Ball go. Ball is out. Loss of challenge, loss of timeout. We resume play at 371, really side yep. out 371. And, and if you're not out. sure, they one stick with out. the call on the court. Right. Yeah, so uh, they stuck with that Time very in. close. So let's see one. if uh, that can make the difference. So this is one of those where Elise Jones had a ball up in the air in the mid court and chose Three, not seven, to two. attack it, but then pushed it and didn't get it on the ground. Side out. It's like there might be a little more rain coming down if I'm not mistaken. Well, and they had the ball for about 11 seconds there, so. Seven, three, one. 7-3-1, big sign out for Parento and Todd. Second serve. Seven three two. I'll recall. And look at this Seven, new three, positioning two. here. They're gonna. That's a smart serve. There's a long way to go. Good defense from Jones, but Paris Todd was all over the put away. And they've neutralized the fact that the receiving team should be in control of the rally. It's the serving team here because they cannot deal with unwinding the stack here. And Paris and Catherine have been hitting smart, deep serves and make that run even farther. Side out. Crowd wants something to cheer about. Three, eight, one. Second serve. On the run, ambitious. Times a thousand. It's a great just drop into the kitchen there by Three, eight, Catherine. Two. You know, that's one of those you gotta look for it, and if it's not there, just bail. And once he committed. Tough to stop here. 
momentum. What a find. Side Catherine out. Parento gets the outer edge of Elise Jones. And another quick side out for Parento and Todd. No points. Yeah, and Elise Smith knows that ball is going wide, but uh, got tagged moving into the ball there. Here we go, girls. Let's go. And they don't get a point, so they're hey, still three, on one. odd and have to deal with this again. Yeah. Point. No solutions so far. Nine, three, one. Second serve. And that's the simplest solution. Just don't switch at all. And then play from your Nine, three, two. less desired position. Parento. Yeah. No, Paris down into the net. Gutsy point on both sides. Smith and Jones fight off Parento and Todd, two away from taking game three. Yeah. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three, whoa. nine, one. Second serve. Callie Smith reaching in on a ball there, but a little off balance and not the right brush of the ball there. Goes well deep, so looking for offense, doesn't three, find nine, it two. there. And they've been on three forever. Side up. They will stay there, so Thanks. that just creates a problem again on the receiving. Rento and Todd, two away. Come on, Take go, a one-game advantage. 9-3-1. Yeah. Point. Parento on the attack, and now game point for the four seed. Ten three one. Jams up Paris Todd on the backhand. Yeah, just slid like she does on the other side, just sits the forehand out there, so well Ten, played. Three, two. Looks like they're gonna stay again with Callie on the right. Yeah. Up. Parento can't believe she missed it. Smith and Jones fight off a game point. And this is interesting here. They're going to stick with this formulation, and I agree with that. You've been on three forever. Try something different three, 10, here. One. What else can they do? Well, when they're returning, they've come up with one answer. Here, they just need to get the ball on the ground and, and get back to putting the ball in the right places and not, I mean, we've been over ambitious on some poaches, not making thirds. Three, ten, one. Jones flair to the end of that. The crowd loves everything. Looks like a cheerleader move on that one. <laughs> yes, where are the pom poms to go with that? <laughs> but now they're stacking the key. Kelly Smith on the right. Yeah, and I think, you know, they were stuck at three forever. We've been dealing with this. Maybe we'll do it or four, maybe ten, we two. won't in game four, but let's get some reps with it. Side out. So then but it's not their it. comfortable side yeah. at all. Now at least they're on even, so they don't have to even consider ten, four, switching one. here and they get their optimal side. Another game point for Parento and Todd. Was 
Well, Second clean inside the baseline. That's what he toys and mention of Cali Smith. Deceptive, held it. 10-4-2. Found the baseline. Parenta with another try to close out game three. Man, is that a <laughs> lively overhead, so. You don't need much momentum to get going. No. Down six. Not insurmountable. 4-10-1. Yeah. Elise Jones finds the opening. Pulls and, within five. And such great disguise, because she has not really attacked anything off the bounce on the forehand. Threw up a lob earlier in the match, but just smooth, look the same as her other shots. Right spot. Five, so now ten, that's one. something that Catherine has to at least acknowledge is in there. Yeah. Parento, uh, there was Second almost start. some miscommunication in the middle. No, there wasn't almost, there was one. And then they end up hitting a Five, winner ten, the two. next shot. So uh, self-tricking on purpose. Yeah, way too high on the drive there from Callie Smith. Okay, here's an odd number situation again. 10 5 1. Point game 11 5. Todd and Parento close it out. They're one step closer to gold. then adjust the return to get yourself out of the problem. Oh. Smith had the opening on the line on Todd. Yep, just a hair late getting all the way to zero, the kitchen zero, there, so that was below the net height. Yeah. Oh. Brento and Todd on the board first. In game four, they could close the gold medal match here. That's what happens with two and a backhand hitters. When the ball is up, you get too much left hand on one, zero, one. it. Drag it right down into the ground. You want to swing through that. Yeah. Catherine Parento gets her body out of the way, punches down the line. And that's the difference between those with a one-handed punch and the two-handed. Similar ball placement for the Two, one zero, Elise one. missed and the one that Catherine made. How many shots do you have in your arsenal? Here's Todd Point. reaches in, catches the net, and Elise Jones with it. A three-point lead now for Parento and Todd. Utah crowd wants Great something. Zero, they one. want Elise diving. They want they want to get involved in this. Great job by Parento and Todd of not letting them get there. Point. That's so smart. The Parento's adjustments on how she's attacking in this match are phenomenal. She's given herself a foot of room down the sideline because she knows Elise Jones is favoring the left and is hitting it every time and then finishing with the next one. So still some Four, good zero, communication one. from these two and smiles, but they got to go. Yeah. At least Jones holds right in the battle, trying to get her side pumped up. So she's adjusted and not just fading all the way into the green and Four, sat zero, on the two. forehand that time. So she's sick of it. She knows what's been happening. Oh. 
What a point from Tosman. Paris Todd. Oh, my goodness, there. That's the amazing tennis background as a teenage prodigy in that sport, and that is a shot you see in tennis a lot. Top spin lob as an offensive weapon. We'll see if they choose one or the other, but uh, right two. now just getting dictated to all day long. Down the middle, there's Elise Jones looking to her Utah fans to get them going. They pulled them out of a five-point hole earlier Zero, five, in one. the quarters. Yeah, they certainly have the comebacks on the dance card from earlier this week. A little bit of relief goes a long way for Jones and Smith. And the adjustment of attacking and protecting the right side of her body there, favoring it. And Parenta's like, one, five, whoa, one. got tagged there. So nice adjustment, Elise. Yeah. Elise Jones. We knew she'd be on the ground at some point, but <laughs> Takes uh, the tumble. not in that way. Come on. One, five, two. Oh, that's a monstrous backhand from Paris Todd, hit with a purpose. Usually you want that ball to travel to the left side player's forehand. Not in that case, that was cream. Serve back to Tana Parento. 5-1-1. One, one. Halting any momentum. And Smith and Jones were looking for it. Return was out. deep. Yes, ma'am. Call stand. Hey, let's, go. let's go. Reset. Reset. And Hepworth oh, confirming the call was out. Six one one. Point. And this particular arrangement has been dissected perfectly because they're not as fearful as the Elise Jones forehand in the middle as they are of Callie Seven, Smith. One, one. Great serve again. Man, these serves. If you play an opponent, this is a master class of what you need to do when you have the ball before the point even starts of understanding what they're trying to do and how to counteract it. And this serving into the deep corners is Eight, one, one. remarkable. Let me switch that time. Paris Chad was there to clean it up off another great serve of Parento. I mean, this looks like tennis where the serving team has the advantage and they are they are doing it. And we're running late on solutions here, but uh, still positivity over there. And not surprising the way these two one, one. have carried themselves through this draw throughout their careers, quite frankly. Catherine Parento buries it, and now championship point for Catherine Parento and Paris Todd. Ten one one. <laughs> and they do it. Paris Todd and Catherine Parento take down the Utah natives. Smith and Jones, Paris Todd, a late add to the tournament, and good thing.